what's up hackers we have an exciting day again because i have a new package and it's from ahmed oyenuga the guy who we interviewed a while ago about his pick and place machine or manual surface mount assembly Ooh, this is a really cool automated platform that helps you locate and store all your surface mount components and it interfaces with raspberry pi or any number of other devices oh yes from Almsville Labs. Cutting away from myself, as one does. Yes! And some QR codes. Hi Alex, I ran out of the default green filament. Hope you don't mind purple. That sounds great. It's very pretty. Everything you need to set up the pick and place wheel can be found on the GitHub repository and the QR codes will take you to some of the useful ones. Thank you for all the awesome hardware contents. Happy making. Oh! Setup instructions, Raspberry Pi setup, Windows application, and an example wheel project. For right now, we're just gonna try and open this up and put it together, and later on I'll be setting it up so that I can assemble some of my PCB projects, which we've talked about on the channel before. Now let's take a look close up. There's such a cool system here where you've got these pieces that go into flexures on the main chassis, and you can choose how many different types of components you want to include. You'll see that there are multiple different wheels that work together. Very handsome PCBs with some little light diffusing 3D printed pieces over these LEDs. I'm guessing this is a funnel to help you get all the little components into the slots in the wheel in the first place. A very nice extra accessory. Look how nicely packed this is. And now, oh, I've seen this on my screen so many times, but now it's actually a real thing that I'm holding in my hands. I'll save this bubble wrap for later. Oh yes, look at this thing, it's so futuristic. A cool thing about this system is that it can lock in place with all of the little compartments closed so you can keep your components safe in between uses. This is the place where you put your PCB. It's like a, a sorbethane kind of material. Slightly sticky, slightly squishy. I'll leave that on there. Cool. This is just gorgeous. And here you see all of these magnets for registration. And this is the place where a little controller board snaps in. There's a lot of custom bearings in this as well, which Ahmed talks about in our interview. Sweet. I now have a fully assembled pick and place wheel that I can use for projects. Maybe we can help people put it together easily and quickly and not lose any components. If you'd like to get your own pick and place wheel, go check out the links in the description below. Of course, check out our interview with Ahmed Oyenuga, the creator of the pick and place wheel. Check out his other projects on Hackster and as always, hack on.